I'm gonna get birth in there. I'll fucking cough. Like, you might do shit, man. I don't know if your teeth straight out. <laughs> yeah, mm, mm, brother, let's see. Your face, my face. Man. You're the woman. You're a woman. <laughs> um, just a shout out to all those guys that aren't cheating on your steroids and all you pricks that are talking bad about me about steroids, saying I win you, bitch. <laughs> If I lose the belt with my next fight, I don't know where it's going to be. You know, it's probably going to be, unfortunately, not GSP. It's probably going to be the winner of Whitaker and Romero. I don't know where that fight's going to be. And I see myself winning that fight because I see Whitaker winning that fight and I see myself beating Whitaker. If Romero wins, I see myself beating him as well. But I, I firmly believe it will be Robert Whitaker. Now, win or lose, win or lose that fight, I'll probably have one more um, and I want that to be in London or, or Manchester or the UK sorry pardon me sound like a fucking American there London uh, I, want it to, I want it to be in England um, you know I want to have my last fight I want to say farewell see the, 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 the fans for me in England have treated me so well they really have the, the MMA fans out there really embraced me as one of their own of course and um, made the difference in my career they really did so I want my last fight to be in England so whether or not I, I win my next fight which I plan on winning and I believe I will then I want to have one last fight in England, uh, hopefully defending my belt for the third time, and then probably call it a day. Yeah, it was changing, but I talked to Dana a few days ago, and uh, he wrote me at the end. I tried, I tried to convince him that it was a good thing that I, if I come back, it need to be a situation that I, I put a lot on the, of, uh, a lot, a lot on the risk. You know, I have a lot to risk, but I need to have uh, something that I can gain from it. You know, so big risk, big re reward. And finding Michael Bisping, that's what it gives me. He's the one that I have the most wins in the UFC history. He just beat my record by one, but if I beat him, I will beat him. I know Michael will retire. I think if he if he has a lose, so and he hasn't fought for more than a year. Me, I haven't fought for more than it will be four years. I think it's perfect fight. It's a fight that everybody wanna wanna do, and um, yeah, I, I, he's been saying a lot of stuff about me. Like I was postponing the fight, tried to. I was afraid, but I'm not afraid. The real reason is the eye injury. Uh, I had the surgery done, and uh, if you wanna do it, I, I'm ready to to make him uh, eat his word. So after you went, to I changed everything in my life toward that fight. Uh, Michael Bisping. I even hire a nutritionist. I'm the biggest. Uh, I gained a lot of muscle mass. Uh, he's still Bisping. If we fight, he's still gonna be bigger and stronger, probably, uh, because of the size advantage. But that's my point. I want to prove that skill and 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 sk sk skill and technique beat beat size and strength. And um, I talked to Dana, and at the end of the conversation, uh, um, he said, "Look, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll we'll see what happens. So hopefully, it will happen." <laughs> Mr. McGregor. Mr. <laughs> 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 <laughs>